Supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids can reduce the risk of heart attacks by 25%, can reduce the risk of preterm deliveries and also has some role in neurodegenerative diseases. There is an entire family of fatty acids but in this video we will primarily focus on omega-3 fatty acids. The active component of omega-3 fatty acid is eicosapentaenoic acid and docosahexaenoic acid. For the most part, we'll call them EPA and DHA. Most manufacturers of omega-3 fatty acids will stuff in more of EPA and less of DHA when in fact you require more of DHA and less of EPA. It's because you can produce EPA from DHA but not DHA from EPA. This means that DHA is really essential for you. It is mostly concentrated in your nervous system and rest of your body. Most manufacturers get omega-3 from fish oil. That is by compressing fish. And there are two types of manufactured omega-3. One is called as the 18 by 12 and the other is called as a concentrated one. The concentrated is a prescription based medicine but 18 by 12 is the most available over the counter omega-3 that you can get. It is very important for you to choose the right fish oil. The fish oil will have uh, milligrams on the total. You also need to know how much of EP and DHA is there in each 1000 milligrams of fish oil. An average 18 by 12 will have 180 milligrams of EPA and 120 milligrams of DHA per 1000 milligrams of fish oil. Look for how your manufacturer produced your omega-3, how it was concentrated because the triglyceride form of omega-3 is really important because it retains its potency. A total of 500 mg of EPA DHA is required for optimum health. For the most part, we know that LDL and triglycerides are not that great of carriers. So because they move the fat away from the liver to the rest of your body and HDL brings the cholesterol back to the liver for processing and throwing it out. LDL, when it is high, you have higher chances of getting a heart attack. Omega-3 reduces the triglycerides and the LDL. If you're planning for pregnancy, if you conceive karne wale hai, omega-3 fatty acid is recommended. Also a part of the list of supplements that you take because they're known to help you in conceiving a baby. We have heard that EPA, DHA, omega-3s, you can only get it from fish sources. But what is in for vegetarians? The only option is from flaxseed and soybean. But that does not have much of EPA DHA, not even close to what you get from fish oil. Here's the good news. Uh, scientists have tried to re-engineer a certain plant called as Camellia sativa, where they have genetically modified it. I know it triggers some people because it's GMO. It's important because it provides sustainability. The oil that you get from a crushed seed is almost identical to that you get from animal sources. Genetically modified Camellia sativa can fulfill our community needs of EPA DHA. Since we are talking about omega-3, I briefly want to touch upon omega-6. Omega-6 is mostly from cooking vegetable oil. Omega-6 is known to cause a little bit of inflammation. So what could be the right strategy for you? you got to reduce your omega-6 and up your omega-3. You can't just reduce omega-6 and leave omega-3 there. you got to increase your omega-3 and reduce your omega-6 and that's when you see the absolute benefit of uh, EPA, DHA on your body.